could be growing in the corporate uh, brewing in the corporate uh, debt market in his latest piece, The Big Dangerous Bubble in Corporate Debt, former investment banker and author uh, Bill Cohen writes that the debt market could even lead to the next economic crisis. And Bill joins us now to discuss. Very good afternoon to you, Bill. Hey, Wilfred, how are you? So unfortunately, I can't share this entire interview. CNBC is very uh, unfriendly with me sharing their content, so got to keep it under 30 seconds. But anyways, let's go into this because the uh, the point they make is very interesting. And by the way, you can get this clip on YouTube. Just put corporate debt, uh, CNBC. Um, but this is very true. Our uh, debt levels, not just for corporations, but the U.S. consumers are at all-time highs. We passed the 2008 level, which was before the recession. So... Um, it's not going to happen overnight, and that's why I do see a possibility where crypto will remain down until 2019. Um, but like I said, uh, this recession and this debt bubble bursting could make it where the dollar starts to devalue, stocks start to devalue, equities. Um, so uh, even even bonds, because if interest rates go up, bond values will go down, and that should help recover crypto prices. But I don't see this happening right now, obviously, with the trade war and what Trump is doing with our economy. Uh, we're, we're posting great numbers and our strength looks really good. So this is something that they're just kicking down the can and it's probably not going to happen until uh, next year or even possibly 2020. Uh, this way, Trump can get reelected. He is going to do everything probably in his power to make sure that the economy will be strong. So we, we could be out for a while um, and you're going to have to just stick to your guns and hold crypto. So that's why, you know, I've encouraged to buy the dip, but you got to really go in with a mindset that you might be holding for two, three years until it really becomes valuable again. So um, I do still feel like that ETF, um, crypto ETF, if it is released, should bring some liquidity or some value back into the crypto market. Um, and I still think we can, make crypto over a billion, uh, sorry, over one trillion market value. Um, it seems like a long way to go and our all-time high was 850 billion, but I still think there's the possibility, but we really do need uh, this ETF to come out and we need to see the US market and other global markets to start of decline where people feel like, you know, crypto assets are a better way to store value than uh, this central banking system where basically banks just keep allowing uh, companies to borrow debt for almost no interest or very low interest and, you know, continue to post solid financials, which uh, help basically pump up the stock price and also encourage stock buybacks. But let me know your thoughts about this and I will talk to you soon.